Hey guys, so we got new patch notes for Rainbow Six Siege. I know I haven't been doing stuff for a while. I especially missed that Western event because I'd had family vacation in Japan. And uh, right now I'm currently filming a reality television show, and um, which is set to air next year. So been busy with that. And then uh, I'm ex exclusively partnered with Facebook, so I have to focus on that as well. So YouTube kind of gets left behind a little bit, and same as Siege. But anyways, let's take a look at this patch notes that's coming up. Uh, it's the bug fixes aim to clean up the issue raised during the test servers during early week. Okay, here we go. Gameplay updated parameters for reverse friendly fire interaction with hostage. Reverse friendly fire triggers for hostage interaction has been lined to be more reflective on the global re uh, reflective friendly fire perimeters. Legion Goo Mine Cloaking. Legion Goo Mine Cloaking mechanics have been updated with Echo Cloaking mechanic to prevent detection through Ballistic Shield. Idle Kick. Reduce Idle Kick timer during prep phase. An additional new Idle Kick feedback warning prompt. So bug fixes, attackers can break their rotation axis through series of steps, allowing them to spin like a top, no more bay blade. Fix pacing, certain, placing certain gadget jammer, prisma, evil eye in front destructible wall segment interfere with the layer attempts to reinforce. Shield operators can be seen invisible, yokai VFX through the shield when the glass is damaged. Players can partially lose functionality if they start to defuse the same time as another defender. Wow. Fix some defenders can be pushed outside the bomb site by interaction with barricade and reinforced walls. Fix players being kicked after putting hostage in down but now prep phase. Operators. Uh, echo is fixed. Uh, ceiling attached continues to stay in place after hatch is destroyed. Mozzie. Mozzie hacked drones view for defenders. Operator support are in the color when they are should be black and white. Only Mozzie can see hacked drones in full color. Nomad air jab proximity SFX is not presented in replays. Knock glitches feedback in first person point of view. Warden uh, fix HUD becomes larger. Twitch fix shock drones beams not traveling through the railings and some maps destroy cameras. Fix Twitch drone view for defender operator support mode when they should be black and white. So it looks like there's some more fixes on the maps. But yes, let me know what you guys think of the new Western event. I'm totally missing. I'm still in um, I'm out of state. You can tell Mike uh, filming a reality TV show. So I'll be back sometime next week. And uh, everything should go back to normal and live stream on uh, Facebook again. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time.